Hey everyone. So let's. Uh, so today's discussion is about Tidy Pandas. So Tidy Pandas is a Python library. So uh, this is a combination of two nice things. One is Pandas, which is the de facto data frame implementation in Python, and uh, Tidy by SMD Player, which is uh, another amazing library that's written in R. So uh, using both of these things uh, for years. So there were a few realizations in terms of how we could bring the niceness or a beauty of dplyr uh, in Python and make uh, and have pandas have a nice layer on top of it. So tidy pandas was an effort which uh, uh, led to a library, uh, and uh, this package provides a minimal and a Pythonic interface, and like a R-ish interface uh, for the most common data manipulation tasks. And it's fundamentally inspired by Tidyverse and Deeply. So we go through a few examples. Before that, let's see what it primarily offers. So Tidy Pandas uh, has a Tidy Frame class, which is essentially a wrapper over the Pandas data frame. Right? So all the heavy uh, work, all the heavy lifting work is done by Pandas. So there's it's a thin layer on top of Pandas. So Tidy Frame provides a data frame. Uh, the beauty here is that it creates a very simplified index structure essentially no index at all. So you never have to worry about resetting your indexes. Uh, it offers consistent verbs, like select, arrange, testing. So if you already know dplyr, you're already familiar with this. And uh, it offers a very unified interface, whether you're summarizing or whether you're assigning columns uh, across groups or without groups. So with groups, your syntax doesn't really change. We'll see that in a minute. Um, so uh, we also do a no dot data no copy conversion of data when you're actually converting uh, between uh, tidy frame and pandas data frames. Uh, also, we uh, provide an accessor. Right? So what accessor does is it directly lets you use the tidy frame verbs or tidy frame methods on top of a pandas data frame. We'll see that in action. In a minute. So the, the fundamental question always comes that we have so many libraries. Why do we want to have another one, which is just this? So, uh, again, this this was primarily written in order to use it. So I'm, I'm being the primary user of this library. Uh, these are the reasons I have why you would want to use this. Right? Um, so you, you would like to use study pandas if you frequently write data manipulation code in pandas. And if you prefer to stay in the pandas ecosystem. Right? At the same time, you just want to remember a small set of methods, not 500 odd methods which pandas offers you. Right? And you do not want to write a lot of reset indexes, rename accesses, and uh, every time print the data frame and see what it's really doing in the background. Right? Also, it lets you write a free-flowing expressive style in dplyr. Right? So let's get into action. Let's see how this goes. All right. So here we go. Right? So tidy pandas often creates compact code. So let's see the comparison between uh, a simple operation. So the operation here is to filter a column for all the values which is greater than its mean value, group by column two. So the first statement here pretty much reads by itself. Now, when we do this in Pandas, we would actually take three steps. Right? You have to group by column two, and then you got to apply a lambda function over it, right? And then you got to reset the index to set it back. So this is an example where we avoid resetting the index at the same time create a very clean, compact, readable code. Let's move on. So because of the structure, this is a very opinionated point, though. Tidy pandas keeps the focus on analysis and not on the data structure. So here is another uh, relatively complicated flow. So let's see what's happening in tidy pandas. So the first line basically creates a new column called n carriers. It's a number of distinct carriers grouped by destination. So the second filter. Uh, second line is a filter where it picks only carriers which are having number greater than one. And the third one, third line summarizes, essentially creates a n underscore destination column, which creates distinct destinations grouped by carrier. Right? And then it arranges with uh, a number of destinations in descending order. Now, if we were writing this in Pandas in uh, uh, piped style, we would have to basically do a lot of operations. So your group by stay outside the context. And this is where we feel uh, tidy pandas creates a lot of the compact code, at the same time, very explainable at each line. 
So you'll have to group by, apply, look at the third line, you'll have to reset the index. So usually what happens for most users is that you've got to print that and see what really happens. So it takes your flow away from your analysis, right? And you see another group by and aggregation, probably on line seven and eight in Pandas code that, that lets you, and you've got to again rename what you have done in the aggregation. So when you do this and you keep constantly printing your data, it takes a lot of time and takes you away from your thought process. So we believe uh, tidy pandas really should help us in that regard. And tidy pandas uh, really works towards a lot of consistency. So if you see the first three statements in tidy pandas, so all three of them return your tidy data frame. Whereas your pandas operations could return a series or a data frame, depending on the, the method that's called. So these things could be really painful when you're doing the analysis. So this really matters. So tidy pandas, as I said, avoids index altogether. So thereby avoids any complicated multi-index. So this is a, a widening operation for a data frame. Right? As you can see, we pick the names from uh, two columns, sex and species, and the values from year, and we're simply widening it. And when you see this happening, right? Uh, and then we take a uh, aggregation over mean. So when we see this, so tidy pandas data frame creates a simple data frame. You can see the indexes zero, one, and two, right? They're nothing but row numbers. Whereas the pivot table operation in pandas creates a similar object, but creates a very complicated multi-index. Now, unwrangling this could be a real headache, right? This is one of the points where we feel that a lot of data analysis can and should be done without using indexes. And multi-indexes should something we should avoid at all costs. So here is an example where tidy pandas offers an accessor for the pandas data frames. So this is for those guys who say, I'm working with my pandas data frames. Tell me if there's something that I could use quick, right? So here's the way. So import a tidy accessor as TP. So once you've done that, that on your pandas data frames, you could directly call pandas, uh, tidy pandas methods. So if you recall this example from our first slide, so I'm actually calling this filter, Right, where uh, pick, give me every row where bill and mm has value greater than its mean, grouping by species. So when you see this, the output is a pandas data frame. So your input is a pandas data frame, you use a tidy pandas word, and then you get an output which is a pandas data frame. So you could go back to your pandas workflow at any point of time. And mind you, everything is done here without making a copy at, at any point of time. We directly refer to the underlying object without making any change to it. Right. So, uh, so we we brought all the fine fine points. So I'll I'll quickly go back to uh, our first slide, which basically spoke about what are the advantages. I'll go back to this again uh, because this kind of tells us what we're trying to do. Right. We have a simplified index. Uh, we have consistent verbs. Uh, we have a unified interface for aggregation, assigning your columns across groups. Right. We don't make a copy between uh, tidy frame and pandas. Right. If you prefer not to. We offer an accessor. So all of these things should make the data analysis very elegant, right? So with this, uh, we saw a few working examples where we really saw examples where things become very compact, right? And all the underlying code is written in Pandas, so it is as fast as Pandas can get, right? And uh, Tidy Pandas is available on PYPI. There's a GitHub repo, this website. Uh, we'll be very happy to uh, take your suggestions, issues. And the first release happened on April 2022 this year. And we have been having nine releases since then, and uh, a very active project that's been maintained, and we want to maintain this for a good long time. Yep. Thank you. Uh, that's it from my side.